celebrating the baby boomer lifestyle. This is Boomer Life with Sterling Fox on AM 650. Welcome back. We're talking about all the latest innovations in hearing with our guest audiologist, Dr. Ted Venema from Mainland and Next Gen Hearing Centers. Next Gen, by the way, is spelled N E X. G-E-N, Next Gen Hearing Centers on Vancouver Island and throughout the British Columbia interior, mainland hearing all over Metro Vancouver. Uh, Dr. Ted, we were talking about a, a hearing test. Mm -hmm. uh, mentioned the one that I had taken with uh, your colleague, Dr. Lee, over there at, uh, mm -hmm. ma at the uh, Metro Town location of mainland. Uh, after the test took about 45 minutes. Yep. I found it to be an extremely interesting experience. I was lucky. Dr. Lee's a pro and very patient. I, of course, had a million questions. I didn't shut up the whole time. <laughs> and, and probably drove them crazy. But it took about 45 to, to 50 minutes. Mm -hmm. Once the uh, once it's determined, once the analysis has been done, mm -hmm. and you've been able to do the X's and O's and pull up that graph yep. and chart identifiable hearing loss, mm -hmm. how long does that take once you've, once you've conducted the test? Can you pretty much, you're, you're an experienced guy, can you much pretty, pretty much tell on the spot this person, yep, there's the hearing loss. There it is in black and white. Oh, yeah. This person totally needs a hearing aid. Oh, yeah. You, it's uh, There's some gray areas. I mean, you know, some people have a, a borderline hearing loss. Right, it's right. kind of like, well, for them, I say, you know what? You should get a yearly hearing test to okay, monitor right. the course of your of your hearing levels. Right. You know, because you're a fence sitter. You could wear, but then again, you know. But, yeah, you, there's there's a there's a, a, a point, by the way, you realize, or a point that you pass, and you go, yeah, I can see why you have problems. Okay, you so know. if after an hour of testing and chatting and conducting sure. all the protocols, yeah. you're aware of someone with hearing loss, yeah. that took an hour. How long does it take for the person to get hearing aids? You know, the research shows that people put off buying hearing aids five to seven years after they need them. Really? Now, a hearing test usually gives nice definition to, gives you information. Now you know. Right. And once you know, it's then a decision on your part. You might come in within the next two weeks and get hearing aids. Right. Then again, you might be a, a someone who's, ah, I'm going to think about it. Mm -hmm. Or, ah, I've got a friend who had hearing aids and he had left them in a drawer. Or, ah, oh, they're too expensive. Mm -hmm. Or, ah, oh, they're, and you know what? The, the, the way things go with hearing aids is ethical. You never cram sales of hearing aids. That's gross. Right. Because you know what? God's going to get you if you do that. It's <laughs> called the hearing aid karma. Right, it's right. going to bite you in the rear. But one of, one of the excuses it, that you just cited yeah. that people frequently use, and we're great procrastinators yeah. when it comes to our hearing. One of the things that you say people say, well, oh, come on, they're too expensive. Yeah. Uh, so that's why I'm not, I'm not going anywhere near that. That's way too expensive. Are they really? There's gold, there's silver, there's bronze. Okay. There's a hearing aid for anyone. Okay. There's payment plans. But listen, when you get a hearing, when you're fit with hearing aids at Next Gen and Mainland Hearing, you walk out without putting down a dime. You walk out and it, for 21 days are wearing a pair of hearing aids and you can come in on a weekly basis or anytime you want if you've got questions or you need things tweaked or you need things looked and at. And is, is it likely it's, that that does happen? That it that happens you need all a little, the time. A little fine tuning and here and there? It happens almost uh, very commonly. Okay. We walk with you. Right. We say, come on in in a week. Let's see how you're doing with them. Right. Come on now in two weeks. Let's see how you're doing with them. After three weeks now, you've had experience wearing them. Now you decide, do I want to pay for them or not? Mm -hmm. So let's say you say, okay, let's go for it. So you pay for them. You still get an additional 69 days because 21 plus 69 is 90. Gotcha. You've got until another, you've got a total of 90 days where you can return them completely for an absolute full refund. I see. Okay. So we're in this game to help. Right. We want things to work because an unsatisfied customer is someone who's going to make things really bad for you. It's all about hearing aids and glasses are different. When you get glasses, you're just, well, what kind of frames do I want now? Mm. You know, and yeah, you might have some problems with bifocals or transition or whatever, but hearing aids need to be gotten used to. Here's my dumb question of the day. You take your glasses off before you go to sleep at yeah. night. Do you, take your, you take your yeah. hearing aids yeah. out? Same thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Uh, I didn't. I don't yeah. have them. I, yeah, you do. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, okay. Take them out. Your hearing aids today. I could be wearing a pair now. I'm mean, t- talking on the radio. I got headphones on, but right. you'd never notice it. It would be like the old commercial dishwashing liquid. Relax. It's you're, palm you're, olive. You'd a, never know I had them in. Well, the same with Dr. Never. Lee. I sat. I sat, uh, and we had a great conversation. Yeah. Then we went through the testing process, and then he sat me down. We had another terrific chat yep. for another 15 minutes, and I'm. Maybe three feet away from him, and you never knew. And he was I, wearing I, hearing aids. I did not have a clue until he <laughs> reached up in and and pulled these tiny little yeah. hearing aids out of his yeah. own ears. I wouldn't have known yeah. in a month of Sundays yeah. the not, guy was wearing hearing aids. They're not aids. these big beige things that sit in your ear like a wad of gum, right, right. or behind your ear like a big peanut. Mm-hmm. They don't look like that anymore. Right. Okay. Hearing aids today are digital. They're highly sophisticated. They've got noise reduction algorithms in them. Mm-hmm. They have directional microphones. They pick up sound automatically in the direction that the speech is coming from. Sure, yeah. So they're doing all kinds of things. Hearing aids, the complexity of hearing aids now isn't just making sounds louder. You know, they, you know the whistle that you get from hearing aids, this automatic reduction of that. Okay. There's so much that's going on digitally. Interesting stuff. And lots more information uh, on the websites about all of this uh, technology. Yeah, do check it out. Either at NextGen Hearing, that's N-E-X-G-E-N hearing.com, or mainlandhearing.com. Dr. Ted Venema is with both uh, NextGen and yep. Mainland Hearing. We're not going to see you again until you have gone to Turkey yeah. and returned. You're doing a presentation yep. for a hearing aid company yep. over there in yep. the Middle East. Yep. Fascinating uh, yep. Uh, undertaking. There's a bunch of Iranian uh, hearing aid companies. Customers, people coming to who are audiologists are going to be attending this thing, and I'll be talking. So that'll be kind of fun. Looking forward to it. Have a great trip. Hey, hey, thanks. Thanks, Sterling. See you next time right here on Boomer Life.